Hi, my name is Amar and I welcome you to the brand new series of GetX5. In this series, I will make videos on updated features of GetX5. In this particular video, I will show you how to fetch data from API by using state controller and futurize method. Here I have created this project and in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken this git dependency having the version as 5.0.0 release candidate 3 and I have taken cached network image. Let me show you the URL from where I will get the data. This is the URL. This is the response and by using quicktype.io, I have created the corresponding model class. And here you can see the model name is state model. Now, in the data folder, I have created a subfolder named as model and here I have created a file named as tvsomodel.dart and to this file, I have simply copied this entire code and pasted it here and I have changed the model name from state model to tvsomodel. Now in the data folder, I have created another subfolder named as, named as providers and here I have created a file named as API provider. Now in the API provider, it is extending the get connect. This is the base URL and this is the constructor. Now here I will create a method named as get TV show to fetch the data from that particular uh, URL. And let me declare this method as async. And here I will pass the page number. As you can see in the URL here, I am passing the page number page equals to one page equals to two three and so on. So here I have passed this page number. Now here I need to use try catch. In this try block, I will declare a variable final response is await get of page equals to dollar of page then here I will check if response dot status dot has error then I will return future of error and here I will pass response dot status text and in else I will return TV so model from JSON and here I will pass response dot body of string. Now from where I am getting this TV so model from JSON this I am getting from TV so model you can see this method is defined here in the catch I will simply copy this I will paste it here and instead of response dot status text here I will pass t dot sorry e dot to string and I will give its return type as future of tv so model. Now let me copy this and here you can see in the modules home folder here I have created a file named as tv so repository which is taking API provider here I have created the instance of API provider and to the constructor I have passed that API provider I will simply paste that code here and I will call API provider dot get TV so sorry get TV so and here I will pass page that's it now let me move to home bindings folder home binding now here earlier if you remember that we need to extend the bindings class now this bindings class is deprecated in getx5 we need to extend binding and here I need to click and override the missing method here the missing method is dependencies earlier the method name was dependencies but the return type was void now the return type is list of bind let me remove this code and here I will return then bind dot lazy put earlier we need to use get dot lazy put or get dot put now we will use bind dot lazy put or bind dot put after that here I will use home controller then this will take tv so repository now it will take api provider and the parenthesis and here I will pass semicolon 
now let me move to home controller now if you remember that earlier we need to extend getx controller now since here we are fetching the data from api and i will handle the loading success and error data automatically to do that here we need to extend something which is called as state controller and it will take the type as tv show model now if i hover the mouse here then you can see it is actually extending from the getx controller with state mixin now here i will create a method get tv so and i will give its return type as future of tv show model and here i will return here i need to create one more thing here i need to create the instance of tv so repository and i will create the constructor and to this constructor i will pass this dot tv so repository now return tv so repository dot after that i will call get tv show and here i will pass the page number as 1 now in the on ready method here i will call a method which is called as futureize and to this futureize method simply i will call get tv show that's it now earlier if you remember when we have used state mixing then we need to call the change method now here those methods are not required only we will use a single method which is called as futureize this method will handle all the things that is empty data loading data success data all those things will be taken care by this futureize method now let me move to home view here i have already written the code in the home view you can see the code has not been changed it is similar in the body i have taken controller.obx and this state is of type tv show model then list view dot separated here i have used this code these are flutter basics in the item builder here i have written list style in the leading i have used a sized box then as a child i have used cached network image in the image url i am passing state dot tv shows of index dot image thumbnail path then this is the placeholder error widget then in title i have passed state dot tv shows index of name in the subtitle i have passed country and in the item count i have passed state tv shows dot length in on loading in the center i have used circular progress indicator in on error in the center widget i have used a text widget and whatever error will be generated that will be displayed in this text widget in on empty again i have used the center widget and in the text widget here i have specified no data found now if i run this then you can see this is the output this is how we can fetch data from api with the help of state controller and futureize method thank you so much for watching